Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we are going to see what are access control lists and how to configure those. So let's start today's session. So in order to configure the access control list, we need to go to the services, HDFS. Once you reach there, we can go to the config section and we'll add one of the important property inside a custom HDFS site attribute. So go to the inside config, go to the advanced and there you will find so many associated properties or the attributes. We are looking for specifically HD uh, custom HDFS site. So let's go below advanced core I can see advanced Hadoop environment is there let's go to little below to catch the custom HDFS site these are the custom core and here custom HDFS site and we need to add this property HD, uh, DFS dot name node dot ACLS dot enable equal to true so this property must available before going to do any other configuration for the ACLS or the access control list once we done with that we have to make sure everything is working fine that means none of the services required restart so we can see all the services are gained that means everything looking fine now let's go and the manage the ACLS through the command line let me do the clear okay so this is command prompt I already logged into the node 1 okay so let's create one test directory and give the name directory as a ACL test so before going to create a directory we have to log in as a HDFS that is the super user super user HDFS there was a space okay how to make directory give the command hdfs dfs my hyphen mk dir forward slash acl tests in order to verify we can give the list command hdfs dfs minus ls forward slash it should list the ACL test directory so I can see the ACL test directory is created we can notice that the directory owner is HDFS you can see HDFS is the owner group is also HDFS the directory grant grants read and execute access to any anyone who is not the HDFS user or belongs to the HDFS group for example, if the root user could access this file in the ACL test directory. So these are the things related to the HDFS we can see. Now in order to have a file to test purpose, we need to upload or we can copy a local file uh, to this directory. So let's try to copy so the HDFS DFS minus put etc past beauty ACL test so this should copy the past WD file to this test level let's try to list the files hdfs tfs minus ls ACL tests it should list that passwd file I can see the passwd file now here also the owner group are still HDFS we have to change the owner how to change the owner we can give the HDFS DFS minus cal ch ch mode or we can give the ch mode 640 ACL test 
forward slash pass wt and again we'll rerun this command to see what are the current properties if you see this uh, uh, it is having the same level okay the file permission is now read write and r here this uh, this extra permission is not required and it is not given now we will exit from this how to exit give the exit command some are not able to take yeah let's try again. exit and we exit from that hdfs user give the cat command hdfs dfs cat to read the file actual tests pass wd this will fail so permission denied user root access is read so the permission is denied so we'll not able to read that let's go back with switch user hdfs and change the permission or we will get the uh, what are the permission this files have in order to get that we have the hdfs dfs get fackel and then we have to provide the file access control list test that is echoes for slash pass wd and we'll get the what are the permissions it has so owner is hdfs group is hdfs user is any user has the read write uh, group has the read and other do not any permission so these are the things we can get when we use the get fackle one more thing um, the next thing is we can use the hdfs shell set fackle command to add a ACL entry for the root user that provide read access to this file then we can use the hdfs shell to get fackle command to verify the change so let's do that give the hdfs dfs set fackle what fackle we are going to set minus m we are going to provide the access to the user root then we are going to add the permission read forwards to dashes then we have to provide which file we have to pass this uh, permission or give this permission so we are done with giving the permission let's try to get the facts about that Fackle. then the file name actual test pass wd and let's see what is the difference between the permissions so now i can see the owner is hdfs group is hdfs user read write and i can see the extra group mask is rr and other is no entry user has the read write and user root have the read access now the next thing is we are going to exit it from this as we did it previously and try to do the cat hdfs dfs give the file name at this time i am able to cat the file because we give the read access let's do again the switch user hdfs now we'll see it some other access controls so this time we'll provide the group hcat read and write access to the file verify the change using the get fackle okay so let's try out to first set the fackle 
hdfs dfs set facal minus n that is the attribute proof hcat also we are going to give the read write actual test that is the file location and the file name it is saying invalid permission hcat okay something is missing okay something is missing and that missing is nothing but the dash here because that is required three permission read write execute now the we should able to see the entry for the group hcat and that is read write in order to get that we have to use the hdfs dfs hyphen get factor and we have to pass the the location of the file okay actual test okay there is something wrong with this command and the cc now we can see the group hcat having the read read access that is as per our requirement similarly we can set the entry to for the group hcat also so so far we set the entry to the user we set the entry to the hcat so let's set the entry for the group how to set that hdfs dfs set facal set user read write an executor is not there then set group read write author will have no permission user will have user admin will have read write no executable to it group that is hcat will have read write no executable to the file actual tests pass wt Mm. says many arguments that is because of the space let me remove the space I remove the space Let's this also so it's a very robust in syntax if you do anything little small mistake you will get these errors so let's get the factors about this hdfs dfs minus get factor give the path actual test pass the pd now you can see the requ required permissions are set so similarly you can set in the single command also the next thing is if you want to remove the actual entry like what are the access we have given how can you remove okay in order to remove the entries or the actual entries we have to give the command again the set is set factors but will this time slightly modify the command hdfs dfs set facal and minus b and this will remove the permissions from this particular file 
so let's verify that hdfs dfs minus get fractal and the location of the file with the file name uh, okay slight typo error now you can see the permission has been removed whatever we have recently given if you want to upload any particular group from local file system to hdfs directory we can use the put command which we have seen recently hdfs dfs minus put then etc group we are going to move that to the actual test group let's enter and we can verify that as well hdfs dfs minus ls actual tests and we can able to all the directories and files inside that so past w is there and group also there i think for today's session we saw how to control the access level on the file level means how to control access on the file level in the next session we will see how to do the access control on the directory level thank you for watching my video you can subscribe my channel for more interesting updates and videos on the hardware have a nice time.